Hi, I'm Mike. I'm a wood turner here in South Texas. Uh, welcome to my shop. This is my first YouTube video. Anyway, I love wood turning. It's my most favorite thing in the world to do. Today I'm going to turn a piece of boat art or Osage Orange and some would even call it horse apple. That's what we used to call it when we were kids in Tennessee. This is a birdhouse on a rope. It kind of looks like a beehive. I turned the opening out of walnut and the perch is eucalyptus. That's scrap I had laying around. I use uh, several tools including a 13 millimeter one-way bowl gouge and a sorby handle. And I use a Thompson 3 h detail gouge that I like to use like a spindle gouge. And a bedan tool. Uh, I use that to form tenons and to uh, square off the ends. And to help hollow this out I use a Sorby multi-tip tool with a quarter inch high speed steel insert and it does a great job. Other tools are, I use are parting tools, half inch skew. Oh and I did part this piece in half and then I hauled it out just like a box. Then I glued the two halves together with epoxy. The beads are done with a D-Way beading tool. Uh, I love these tools. I have a complete set from Dave Schweitzer. Cause I'm a little bit bead challenged. Anyway, let's turn this thing. This uh, boat arc log has been drying for several years, so it's going to be pretty hard uh, and fun to turn. I mark the center of the log. I'm going to mount this on the lathe between centers with a spur drive. I get out of the line of fire as I start this up. I start roughing this with a one way 13 millimeter bowl gouge with a sorby handle. And because the camera is shaking quite a bit, I speed it up to get through this. I have to devise a better mount for my camera because the lathe is not shaking like this, the camera is. This stuff is hard as a rock. Here I'm using a diamond parting tool to start forming my tenon. I don't show it, but I form a dovetail tenon and flip it around. start forming the shape and I sped up the video. I'm going to turn my gouge on its side to do some shear scraping and to help to find the shape. Here I use a bedan tool to square off the top of the birdhouse, or the end of the birdhouse. I 
and start forming the tin with a diamond parting tool. Here I'm going to part this in half so that I can start hollowing out each end. Here I'm using a Forstner bit just to drill it out a little bit for depth and to help me start the hollowing process. Here I'm going to try two scrapers and I end up using a Sorby multi-tip hollowing tool with a high speed steel cutter. I start to define the inside lip with a 3 8 bedan tool. I chuck up the top half and then I use a 3 quarter inch drill and a Jacob chuck to uh, drill out the center for depth. I start hauling with one of my favorite tools, the Thompson 3A gouge. I'm defining the lip of the lid with a parting tool. And then back to the Thompson 3A gouge. I clean up the rim with a half inch skew. After I finish turning the lid, I glue the two halves together with some 5 minute epoxy and also fill in some cracks with sawdust and epoxy to get it ready to finish turn in part 2. Thanks for watching.